Hello view riders and thanks for joining me on this glorious March day and um, today I'm doing a, a, um, a first thoughts uh, review on the uh, Kelly Moto app which I have um, uh, just downloaded to try out specifically when uh, for when doing test rides really uh, quite often um, some of the places uh, I, do te I do test rides in I've got no idea where I am so it's good to have uh, something to tell you well give you an idea where the decent roads are and so far getting on alright with it uh, the only downsides is it's not a it doesn't seem to be like a proper sat nav, it doesn't, it doesn't give you your speed and uh, what the speed limit is on the road you're on and there uh, doesn't seem to be any options to to add um, speed camera warnings um, I've had a quick look through the settings and couldn't see anything but uh, so far the um, the roads it has found have been pretty incredible actually um, I haven't got my charger plugged in so but I think what I would do myself is uh, use the Kanemoto to uh, navigate and uh, I'd have ways open in the background to uh, gives you speed camera warnings um, but that I, I used that setup the other, the other day and that seemed to work well but yeah you're gonna have to have that plugged in because it will drain your battery really quickly otherwise and so yeah it's, um, it's been finding some decent roads I've only tried it in the twisty setting so far as I said, this is just a first impressions for review on it um, but I found some roads fairly close to where I live that I'd never knew about and uh, I found some uh, yeah, decent new roads actually um, so, so far yeah, I've been quite pleased with it it's not a cheap app by any stretch of the imagination I mean, you can get you can get a Tom Tom app for um, I think it's about 13, 14 pounds a year, and you can set that to a windy road function. And the uh, Kelly Motor is about 40 odd, 40 odd quid a year, so a big difference. But um, specifically for, for searching out twisty roads, I think. Uh, this is going to be well worth it but yeah that's uh that's my first little impressions i hope you can see the screen but uh the instructions are quite clear on there so you got to like your directional of your next uh, turn next instruction and uh, so i'm turning right in four miles uh the estimated time of arrival which is 1752 here I have found that that does tend to keep going up for some reason I mean even uh, if you're not having a belt so. and then you got uh, how long you got left so I've got an hour and nine minutes left now um, it doesn't give you any distance in miles because there's no, another omission I'd say um, so yeah so far I would say it doesn't replace a dedicated sat nav app uh, but specifically for um, for a motorcycle riding, I think it's um, so far been pretty decent. Again, so just first impressions, thoughts on it. I'll leave it at that. I'm intending on uh, using it a lot more over the summer, and uh, I'll give a proper review in due course. Cheers, guys. Over and out.